So, um, we took a tempo traveler to this place called Subramanya and uh, there is there are arrangements for uh, toilets nearby. So, uh, we've changed and now we're just eating breakfast at this place called uh, New Mysore Cafe. Meeting Dosa for breakfast along with some tea so that uh, I can trek for a good 7 to 8 hours. Hi Kitan, I'm Vijaya. You're watching the Miraki Explorer. Today I'm doing this trek which is called as Kumara Parvata and it's uh, it's in the northern uh, part of Kurg or Kodagu and usually I trek alone but this time uh, I met a few friends in Chennai so that is Manu Hi. and this is Arvin Hi. they run this uh, organization called as Alpha Explorers, Alpha Explorers. so uh, we're trekking today to the second highest peak in Kurg and it's at 1700 meters altitude so from Chennai we took a train to Bangalore from there since we were about uh, 12 people we took a tempo traveler and uh, pretty excited to do this trek so stay tuned Hi people I'm So this is the start point of the trek and this leads us to the base camp which is called as Buttermane and from there So the trek uh, first passes through a village and then through this thick forest which is making me feel so close to nature and um, I am in Kurg in, in part of the Pushpagiri wildlife sanctuary that leads to the mountain which is Kumara Parvata and one good thing is fortunately I don't see plastic lying around here and there or being dumped so if you are doing this trek please make sure you take your trash back along with you so from this point onwards the the trek is starting to get uh, slightly more uphill we're about two kilometers away from uh, the the base camp which is Patramane and uh, once we reach there we will know how far is a peak So for being uh, shaded by the forest, now uh, the trek starts to get uphill and uh, the forest uh, is starting to disappear, so more of light. Uh, it's still green though. The sun is starting to get pretty strong now and almost near the base camp uh, the treks till now or the trails have been quite well defined there are arrow marks so the the trails aren't confusing so i finally reached patramane uh, i started the trek around 8 it's uh, 11 now and uh, the the peak which is Kumara Parvata is about 7 kilometers from here so I'm gonna take a short break and then climb that peak so I so Batrumane literally translates to a Brahmin's house in Kannada and uh, 
this looks like someone's house that is now uh, a tourist spot so free drinking water is available at this place so, so free drinking plain rice some masala rice sambar and oh sambar looks good and some open kai or pickle so we oh, couldn't stretch to kumara parvata because uh, the entry to kumara parvata stops at 10:30 so today we just going to chill and relax a bit and tomorrow we will start an early morning trek to go to the peak so um, we are pitching our own tents i'm going to show you how to do that so we we have the base here and this is a two people tent and we have these so i'm going to attach this it's pretty simple you just need to put this in pin it to this Now we're going to attach this thing. So there are two sides to the tent. One is the opening side, and the second one is the ventilation side. When you're pitching your tent, you have to make sure that the ventilation side is towards the windward side. Otherwise, if it's the other way, the wind will will sort of uh, carry the tent along. Now we're going to put the cover. Again, this is the entrance side, so this will go on this side, and this needs to go in there so that. the cover doesn't fly away not to continue okay now um usually we have pegs and we we pin it or you know just put it inside but this mud looks pretty strong and uh, i don't think we're going to be able to do that so we have something else which is these uh because it's going to be really windy what we're going to do is we've attached these ropes and we've tied it to a stone and i'm going to tie this so that even if it gets windy the tent wouldn't go off while we're in it okay so i'm going to do that on all these sides uh, and that's how you pitch a tent if you have any questions please post it in the comments section see ya So the entrance fees is about uh, 350 for Indians and 1000 rupees for foreigners.
so this is where I camped last night uh, near Batramane. There are two places where you can camp. This is one. The second one is near the forest officers range. I would suggest that you camp here. Uh, reason one being is that a lot of people go there and it's it's crowded. Second is that uh, food is only available here. So uh, for dinner you are going to have to come back uh, in the dark to this place. And yesterday there were about 200 or more people there. It was like a chaos. And uh, that is why I've decided that I'm not going to do this trek because uh, there are so many people. It's going to be like a queue going up to Kumara Parvata. So I'm just trekking back now to Kuke. Uh, regardless of all of this, I think even the trek up to Batramane was really relaxing. There are uh, viewpoints here. And uh, for the first time, I slept in the open without a tent, using a sleeping bag and looking up to the moon and the stars. And if you're looking for uh, like a simple trek near Kurg or for from Bangalore, you can definitely consider uh, this. It's okay if you can't go up to uh, Kumara Parvata. And one really important thing I would suggest is please do this trek on a weekday. On weekends, there are hundreds of people and um, it it's um, not ideal um, on that note signing off stay tuned for another episode of the Meraki Explorer see ya so just after ending the trek uh, there is this river which is known as Kumara River and we've come for a swim here it's the water is seriously clean, so clean that I can see the riverbed and the fishes in it. So just taking a swim here before we head to Bangalore.